Hey guys, it's Drea. It's another year, another project pan. If you don't know, I I didn't abandon my project panning at the end of last year because I was still doing it. I just didn't have any time to film a December update. And I had brought new things in and I had taken things out in the meantime and it just became like too overwhelming to actually film an update now. So what I decided to do, I talked about this in my get ready with me and I showed some final progress on a few things in that video too if you want to go back and look. Um, I want to just start fresh. So this is January. It is the middle of January. What is today? Like the 9th or something? But I've been using these products for a little bit. So you know, I've been using them throughout the month already. And then we'll do a February update. So I'm just starting fresh. I'm sorry, there will be a ton of used up products from my old project pan in my next empties video though. So stay tuned for that. I also just gave myself a at home butcher haircut today. <laughs> Not that you guys would know. I literally like cut off this much just to get rid of my split ends that were like terrible. I need to, I, I really want to do something with my color, but I don't know what I want to do. Anyways, let's get into this. This is not going to be any progress. It's all going to be introduction. So it should be pretty short and sweet. Um, first thing that I want to bring in and a few of these are things that I did actually start using in December, but we're just going to count progress from, from January. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. So this is a primer, and this is kind of one of those putty type primers. Um, there's not really any way to measure progress on this other than for me to just put it on the screen and then next month I can, you know, screen capture it to show you the difference. So here's what it looks like right now. This is definitely not a favorite product. Um, I, I think it fills in my large pores okay, but I don't love it. It's, it's a little too hydrating and sometimes it reacts not so great with my skincare and so it, it does that thing where it balls up stuff. But I still, I just wanna get through it. I wanna use it up because I just finished my NARS Smooth and Protect Primer, which is my favorite. And I do have a few other ones. I, I just wanna get through a couple before I repurchase a new primer just to kind of teach myself a lesson. <laughs> I'm like, you shouldn't buy a whole bunch of stuff you don't need. So um, I'm gonna use this up. I don't think it'll take that long. There's not a lot left in it. And the, the, the pot, the pan, the pot underneath is not that deep. So I don't think that'll take too long. This is a foundation I have been using for months now. So I'm just gonna start it up in the project to see how long it takes to finish from now. This is the, um, place we are right now. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Mine is in the shade 425. Um, I'm wearing a mixture of this and a, a deeper foundation today, so it's not really truly what's on my face, but it's like mixed. But this is actually a really good mixing foundation. I like to mix this with some things that are a little bit deeper that I still want to get use out of or things that are a little bit more hydrating that I still want to get use out of because I have really oily skin. So I don't know, I just, I find this to be a really good workhorse foundation. Like it doesn't do anything amazing for me, but it's always something I can count on if I just need something to work. So I just, I like it. I don't absolutely love it, but I like it and I'm glad that I'm getting through it. So that's where we are right now. Um, going along with that, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Mine is in the shade Cashmere 360. I really, really like this concealer. I think it's really good concealer from the drugstore. It's very full coverage. It is a little bit drying for my preference, um, but I've been using this now for almost a year. I'm gonna say like eight months off and on. And I feel like once I start using this more often throughout project panning, it will go very, very fast. I found that with a lot of my concealers lately that they're, they're so low that once I start using it a little bit, they go so fast. So we're going to work on that. There's not really any way to show progress, but once I get to the point where I can't pull a lot out of it, I will pull the stopper out and try to use up everything so that you can actually see like window through it. That's always a favorite. Okay, I wanted to put in some skincare because I have too much skincare and I need to get through it. This is the Gin Amber Beauty 20% Vitamin C Booster um, Serum. So I actually got this in PR and I feel like I hadn't really been using it or using it in like any kind of consistent way to properly review it and that's not fair because they, you know, they sent it to me so that I would review it or at least try it, not, not even necessarily review it, but I feel like I should give it a good shot. 
So I've been using this for um, the month of December and January so far. This is where we are right now. It was pretty much full at the beginning of December. And so I want to get through this whole thing. The one thing that I can tell you right off the bat that I do not like about this is this pump is it sprays like it's too it comes out too hard and in too concentrated of a stream so when you're putting it into your hand it just all comes back like you spray it and it comes back so i feel like i use more product than i would have to so i don't like the packaging but i feel like the product so far has been good so i'll use it all up and then i'll be able to fully tell you okay i wanted to bring in fragrance because i actually used up my perfume that was in the project previously and this is one that I had in a project last year and I just want to use it up. I think I'll be able to get through this in the, in the rest of this month. So this is the Body Fantasies uh, Body Spray in the scent Cotton Candy. This is just the line you can get from Walmart. And this is where we are for the start of this project. So I haven't used this at all yet this month, but I think I can get through this by the end of January and that'll be used up by the next one. Okay, I also brought in this in December. So actually, this is the progress I had in December, but we're just going to count from January. This is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Mine is in the scent Coconut. I love this. So I have really oily skin, and I kind of decided to do the opposite of what I had always done. I decided to go away from focusing on mattifying products. I haven't really cared necessarily if I've been wearing a mattifying primer or if I've been wearing a mattifying setting spray. I, of course, always still use powder because I just can't not. But I decided to just use my Fix Plus as my setting spray. And I've really liked the results. I still need to blot throughout the day, often, depending on the foundation, sometimes a few times. But this has been working really well for me and I really like the way my skin looks so and it doesn't feel drying at all it, it always feels pretty good so anyway this is where we are beginning of January and we'll see you know this is generally the same amount of progress every month so it'll probably take me maybe two months to get through that and another product that I am just I'm I, it's a goal like I need to defeat this monster this is my RCMA no color powder it's an Allure Mercier container but this is where we are at the beginning of January. I was using this last year in the project, so it was actually quite a bit higher, but this is where we're gonna start in January and I am gonna use up all of this powder. I have so many loose setting powders. I just wanna go through them. I don't wanna purchase any until I'm through all of them. So this is almost gone. Um, well, no, that's not almost gone. <laughs> there's, good, there's a good starting point on it. I've used up quite a bit of it already last year. Um, I decided I wanted to hit pan on a bronzer. I, I don't want to use up a bronzer. I just, I find it so hard to use up pressed powder products. I used up a bronzer, was it last year or the year before? I used up a Becca bronzer, it took forever. So all I want to do is see pan. Like there's some things that I like to use up, generally face products like foundation, concealer, powder, that kind of stuff. I love to use that up. But things like blush and bronzer, I just like to see pan on them. And then I can open them and see that I had used them. You know, I don't know. That's just a weird thing, I think. But I've had this for a long time. This is the Body Shop um, Bronzing Powder in the shade Medium Matte. And I have had this for years now. Like years and years and years. It's got this kind of honeycomb to it. So you can see this honeycomb kind of powder. It has a little bit of wear to it, but nothing like super serious. And I just want to hit pan on this. That is my goal. I'll use only this bronzer until I hit pan. Um, this is the one I'm wearing today. It's a really good winter bronzer. So I think this is a really good time of year for me to use it. Like when I say winter bronzer, when I am at my most light skin, it's not super intense on me. It's just a nice light bronzing. So how many is that? That's eight products, two, four, six, that's eight products. Okay, so I have my last two things. Now, normally I was bringing in a palette of the month and then one other product of the month, but what I want to do first is hit pan on two shades in this palette. This is the Tardis Pro palette, um, the first one. Lisa had given this to me, and I just wanna hit pan on two shades Similar to my last palette that I did that with, which was the Too Faced Tickled Peach palette, the cream shade and like a transition shade. So this shade right here is the cream shade. There was a little bit of wear on this already, 
It's gonna be really hard for prep panning though because of the gold flashback. Um, there was just the slightest little bit of wear on it. Like when I say slight, all of these say the word tart in them pressed in it and that was worn away. That's the extent of the use on that one. And then also this one. So that's the shade classic and then this here is the shade bold which says a lot about Tarte, doesn't it? That they consider the shade bold. Anyway, this is a really good transition shade. So this is what I use today for my transition shade. And I wanna hit pan on both of those. So whenever I do this with a palette, what I find is that I'm using those two shades almost daily until I hit pan, but I'm also sometimes using other shades. And it just helps me to get a little bit more use out of a palette in general. So I actually use this palette all over my eyes today. This is what I use for 100% of my eye look. And I like it. I think it's gonna be really, really good for work. So let me give you a much closer look at these two shades here. So there's the shade Classic. I know it's going to be so hard to focus on this stuff. And then this one here is the shade Bold. And one thing that I really loved doing in my last rolling project pan was bringing in a palette of the month. It just keeps things fresh, it keeps things more exciting so that you're not seeing the same old things, same old palettes all the time. And it helps me to get to know my palettes better. So this time around, I'm going to have the Violet Voss Best Life Palette be my palette of the month. Um, Alex gifted this to me for Christmas. Um, it did come broken. And luckily, instead of repressing it, I was able to just exchange it. So it's perfect now. I got a perfect one. And I have used this a few times in the month of December. And I really, really liked everything that I've gotten out of it so far. But I haven't used a ton of them so far. Like, for example, out of the pressed glitters, I think I've only used this one and this one. But I really liked them when I used them. And the mattes I have really liked as well. So I'm going to use this. The purpose of palette of the month is to use something minimum five times. I can use it more than that, but I have to use it at least five times in the month. So I don't think that'll be a problem. I don't have a problem wearing like colors like this to work. It's totally cool. So I'm really excited to get to know this palette a little bit better. Um, that is the introduction. It's so weird not to have like update and progress in these videos, but this is just an introduction. So subscribe if you're new here because I will do monthly updates on these and we will roll in new things every month as stuff get, gets used up. I am committed to doing this. I was like, it's not like I was really bad at it last year. I was doing it every month. It was literally just the month of December that things totally got away from me. But it's so fun to do painting and see things like get used up. So that is like such a focus for me this year. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I hope you're having a great day. I hope that you're speaking to yourself kindly, especially when you look in the mirror. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.